I'm joined here by Niall, uh, Tipperary Hurler Niall O'Mara. Niall, welcome to Bunratty here in County Clare. It's lovely evening. Yeah, it's like lovely evening. It's, it's a lovely for the Munster Championship. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you had to take a bit of time off from training and, and, and all that, Niall. Um, how are things going down in Tipperary? Um, yeah, they're going pretty well, I suppose. The club championship for the last three weeks. Yeah. And that gives you a bit of hunger going back in with tip train tomorrow night, you know. Having a break can be good sometimes, you know. Like sometimes you can overfeed the, the donkey, so to say. So yeah, yeah. We're, we're, I suppose train tomorrow night, lads have played club games and they'll be happy to go back in tomorrow night. Um, obviously we're disappointed with the league final, but overall in the league we developed a panel and I think that's what everyone was trying to do. With the new Monster Championship you're gonna need thirty lads and that's I suppose all aimed from all management and all teams really. That's right. I was going to say that to you. You, you. you can play a few different roles. You're a centre forward, you can, but you can play out in the wing as well. Yeah, I suppose. Or, um, I'm on the panel over a few years. Actually, got a rough couple of rough injuries. I dislocated my AC joint against right, Kenyan yeah. and I missed most of the league. But yeah, it's important to be flexible, I suppose, with hurling because even in a game, if a lad got any bit of a head injury, you could be going out midfield or wing forward just to cover him for a couple of minutes anyway. So yeah, it's, it's very important to be uh, flexible with your hurling. And I suppose coming up, we've Limerick now in two weeks' time, three weeks' time in the Munster Championship. And that'll be gung ho, so we're looking forward to that. Yeah, you mentioned the league final. I don't think there's anyone talking about the league final in Tipperary or indeed even in Kilkenny. It's all about the championship now and and and, and going down. You'd be going down to, to the Gaelic grounds, which isn't a, you know there'd be a big welcome there from you, I'm sure, from the, <laughs> from the home crowd. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, look, the league is done. Um, we're looking at Limerick now. They've obviously won 221 All Irelands the last couple of years, and in the Pearce coming by, he's coming back in. There'll be different games to the league semi final, which we bet them they'll be. You know, I suppose you could often say they're waiting in the long grass but not anymore because all their players are so well known and I went to college in Limerick with most of them and they're all serious players so yeah it's uh, it's going to be that game's going to be really important because as I said we're playing four weeks in a row so that game will really set the mentality for the following week against Cork so I think both management and teams will line up that game for a win yeah yeah uh, no surprise as you said yeah, you, were the, you, you, you were a great champions in 2016 you came out last year and you shipped a lot of criticism yet you came within a pint of Galway like I mean I know that, that pint could have gone the other way as well so yeah because I actually remember that ball show Kenny got I was the closest man to him and I just yeah. remember he kind of with Joe he nearly knows it's going to go over as soon as he left his hurley and we, got, we did get a lot of criticism and look we didn't perform very well against Cork in the Munster Championship ok fair enough but we came back we bounced back on the road the All-Ireland Champions bet is by a pint and another two minutes that game could have went the other way yeah. so like that's the thing with Tipperary you know we're always going to be there there it's just that it's just really getting the last couple of minutes making sure you're doing making the right decisions to get more the line. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I would put you as favourites for the for the Munster Championship if, if it goes that way. But there isn't much between the teams there, Munster. No, it's like every team will be thinking, yeah, definitely we can have a go at this because Munster's been so competitive for so many years. Like you know, Cork came out last year. Would I want to give them a chance? The bet tip, I think the bet. Off for then after and a bit clear in the Munster final, so like yeah. you just never know because once Munster championships, it's great, like you know, the support to be unreal, the atmosphere in the stadiums, like it's different to the All Ireland series. And I'm really yeah. looking forward to the new format to be honest. I think it's going to be, I suppose, something new is always interesting, so it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. Yeah, we've got to be my next question. You're a young man, you're five weeks, uh, uh, a lot of games, series hard uh, Munster championship games. So you you looking forward to that? Yeah, yeah. The three weeks of club championship was kind of like a weird taste of what's to come because game yeah. every Sunday, you know, for three weeks, and that was like you know I was actually with a talk with Paul O'Connell and Uel this morning. He was talking about ULGA and he was talking about um, recovery, the importance of recovery. I think that's going to be emphasised more so than ever now. Like you know, what do you do after the game to make sure you can train Tuesday and go again Thursday night to prepare?